Hey guys, welcome back to Global Scale Channels. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a full tune up to your car. I'm working today on my 2021 Chevy Silverado 1500, but that's similar to all the vehicles. On this track, it's a V8 5.0 liters on the engine. It has eight different spark plugs. So I'm going to show you the location for this one, and then I'm going to show you all the other maintenance that we have to do to this track to make it up to date for this engine to last longer. So here is the list of the tune-up. Some of the parts we're going to be replacing, and some of them we're going to be just shaking to make sure the parts are still in a good working condition. Spark plugs ignition wires, PCV valve, PCV hose or positive crankcase, checking the brake fluid, checking the coolant fluid, checking the oil change, replacing the air filter, the cabin air filter and check the transmission fluid. As you can see check your own spark plugs if it's good you can just check all of them make sure all of them are working on my case I'm just gonna be replacing all the spark plugs so like I said before there are four on each side I'm gonna be replacing only one but it's the same thing for the others As you can see guys, the part is very dirty and it needs to be replaced. On my truck it has 140,000 miles. It's time to replace everything and especially I just got this truck so I better do a full tune up and make sure the car is running to its best. Guys, look at the difference. Definitely this part needed to be replaced. Imagine if I let it stay on the car and drive, this is gonna cause more problems. That's why I say to prevent all of this, it's better to do a tune up. Let's check the power steering fluid and make sure it's filled. going to check now the transmission fluid
The transmission fluid looks good, so let's go to the next step. I recently did the oil change, so mine is still good. Check yours if it's dark or it smells like burning, then you have to replace it. I recently replaced the air filter, so it's still good. And like I say, check yours, see if it needs to be replaced. Check the coolant fluid, make sure it's filled to the proper level. You usually you will see right there low and high. Make sure it's on the proper level for your indication. And the same thing for the brake fluid. Make sure it shows it's filled to the proper level. By following these steps, you'll be able to maintain your engine to last for a long time and save you from going to a mechanic to spend extra money for something that you can do by yourself easy at the house just following these steps. I hope this video is very helpful to you and you learned something from it today. If you do, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel to receive notifications anytime we upload a new video. See you soon.